Good morning. Today's uh, mini lesson will be uh, concentrate on the addition and subtraction uh, using positive and negative numbers. Um, I've listed some rules here uh, or the steps in doing it. Uh, I will repeat all these rules in the next two pages where I'm actually doing examples, but here you can pause it and kind of uh, go over it yourself, uh, which is actually a good idea to think about every step uh, on, on here. All right, but I'm going to jump right into examples. Uh, here's an example given to us. Negative 4 minus negative 9. Well, the first rule is we really we really have a difficult time understanding what is, uh, what is let me see, this right here. Two negative signs in a row. Uh, two negative signs, not numbers, but signs in a row. Really, we simplify that to mean this and this combines to be a plus. So instead of having this complicated example, we want to rewrite that as... Uh, negative 4 minus uh, plus 9. Okay, that's an ugly 9. Let me erase that and start over. Plus, okay. 9 equals. Now, uh, the first question, well, second question, because well, the first question was really to simplify. The second question is, are these two numbers on the same type of numbers? Are they, um, and I've used the analogy of teams before, are they on the same team? Well, clearly they're not. One is a negative number, one is a positive number. Uh, if they are not on the same team, if they're opposite teams, we could jump right away to, to uh, um, rule number four, or steps number four. We figure out, of the nine and negative four, which is the one that's going to win? Since they're opposite teams, they're kind of going to, I don't know, oppose and, and start, um, start fighting it out, if you will. So of the nine and negative four, which is, who's going to be the winning team? Well, clearly, it's going to be a positive, because 9 is a bigger number. So the answer is going to be positive by how much? How, well, how much is 9 bigger than 4 by? It is by 5. And that's it. It's just, that's, that's the answer. So negative 4 plus 9 is positive 5. Now, with time, you really don't need to write that positive sign. It could just, just be pop. Just regular five. Okay. Example number. Uh, by the way, you, 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 sh you should pause this here and kind of go through this example much slower on your own to figure out. Oh, if there is, you know, do, do you fully understand it? Okay. I'm um, jumping on to the next example, and here I have negative four plus negative nine. Uh, again, we have sort of double signs in a row. Uh, I prefer not to deal with that. You know, that's really, in this case, they, it's not that difficult, but it, I, don't, I prefer not to deal with it. So one of the ways, well, the only way to uh, simplify that is simply rewrite that as negative 4 minus 9. Uh, remember, it's only two negative signs in a row that make it a positive. Here I have plus negative, it simplifies to be just a minus. Okay. So the question is, are they on the same team? You decide, are they on the same team? And in this particular case, clearly they are, because this is a negative number, and this is a negative number. They're both negative numbers. Therefore, if they are on the same team, we are using, using 3. We combine the, the actual uh, value of 4 and 9. 4 and 9 combined is 13. And the sign we give it, the question is, what kind of, what kind of 13? The sign we give in front of 13 is of the same sign as in the original example, and there it is negative 13. Both numbers are negative, therefore the answer is negative 13. So we can go back to our original question and post the answer as negative 13. Again, you could pause it, kind of look through this, see if you could follow the steps. I'm going to go through uh, several more very, hopefully very quick examples. All right, example number one, seven plus three. Now it's a typical problem you've been doing for years. You know what the answer is, but let's go through the, the proper steps. Can we simplify this in terms of signs? No, that's the way it's written. It's already simplified. There's no double signs. Um, are they both on the same team or opposite team? They are on the same team. They're both positive, even though it's not written here, but it's really a positive seven. Since they're both on the same team, we combine. 7 and 3 to get 10. And what kind of 10? Well, clearly positive 10 since the original question is uh, 
uh, they're both positive. We don't need to write plus 10, we could just write 10, but if you write plus 10, that's also fine. Um, it just underscores that you understand that that's a positive number. All right, example number two, what kind of numbers are these? Are they both on the same team or opposite team? They are clearly on the same team, and what kind? Negative team. So in this case, we combine them to be what? We combine them to be 10, because 7 and 3 combines to be 10. And what kind of 10? It is a negative 10, since the original equation, uh, the original problem had them both as negatives. Example number 3. Um, 7 minus 3. Same team or opposite team? Opposite, clearly, because this is a positive 7, and that's a negative 3. Um, if there are opposite teams, we we figure out wh who's going to be the winning side. The winning side will be clearly seven, or positive 7, because it's 7 is bigger than 3, so the answer is going to be positive. By how much is 7 going to win over 3? It is by 4. Well, there's the answer. And look, it's just a typical example you've been doing for years. 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, number 4 is a little, little different because it's the negative 7 that's bigger than the number. So anyway, th the first question is, um, are they on the same team? No, they're not on the same team. Different signs. Um, who's going to be the winning side? The winning side is going to be negative. Uh, and by how? Because negative 7 is bigger than, well, 7 is bigger than 3. So the answer is negative by how much? Well, 7 minus 3 is 4. Therefore, the winning uh, the final answer will be negative 4. Okay, at this point, I mean, I ran through this question pretty quickly with all of these questions, but again, you could pause it, think about it by, for yourself, and make sure you understand how we got those answers. Okay, thank you.